Hello and welcome to the Alabed Podcast. We're delighted to be joined by two times Challenge Cup winner and current FLC player Jamie Shaw. Thanks for having us on, boys. Right. right. So we're getting started with the youth days. I mean, what what brought you into uh, rugby league? Um, I was quite late coming to rugby. I was more, you know, it's like when you're younger, yeah, you yeah. don't want to play football, and just kind of got into football, and I remember just being at school, and I thought I think it was second school to be fair. Mm. So I was quite late. Yeah, yeah. I just needed an hand playing rugby. Mm. Uh, they were short players, so I went down and played. I was quite fast and <laughs> rapid, so I kind of went alright and ever since just played for the school team. And then one of my mates who played for my team, my school team, um, played for Scarlet at the time and just went down there and yeah. enjoyed it ever since. Yeah. How, how long was you doing like youth of rugby then? Was it not or not? And then uh, you got picked up by all? I reckon it was about year seven, so the first year of secondary school. Yeah. So it's quite late, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. If you was a kid's player, like yeah, my yeah. son's 60s playing. Yeah, yeah. Now, so I was quite late, but everyone wants to be a footballer, I think. Yeah, yeah to be I fair. It's probably the uh, best, yeah. So, obviously, I mean, how did you get picked up by Hull? I mean, and why Hull, obviously? Um, I was just playing, so I stayed at Scala all the way through the youth, and I got into like the A team at yeah. Scala. Mm. It was going quite well, and managed to get into the first team at quite a young age, about 17. Right. Um, I was just playing really well and I remember, I can't remember his name now at the time, but the scout came, just came up to me after one of the games and said, how do you fancy coming to play for our under 20s for a season? Because mm. I could only do one year because of my age. Yeah, I think I read on an article saying that you could yeah. do one year and I think that's when you got first league contract. Yeah, I think I was, so I got in the first about 17, but I think I was about 18, 19 when I came to me to play for the 20s. Yeah. Yeah. So I just thought, I'll go down for a year, have, yeah. a, have a laugh with the boys. Um, and then go back to school the year after. Yeah. Peter General was coach at the time. Who was the yeah. academy coach? Uh, Radders. R- was it Lee yeah. Radford? Right. Yeah, I was say, yeah, we've got more questions on it. Yeah, it was a reserve. Uh, so it was a reserve grade. Mm. Yeah, Radders was yeah. the coach for that. What? So obviously, you started playing for all. What was it like making your debut? Yeah, massive. I remember that year, so it was 32 when I made my yeah. debut. Yeah. But that year, I was struggling to get in York City Knights team, yeah. to our Joe Reg team. Yeah. yeah. So I was, I'd not played for a couple of months, I think, you, prior to me yeah, making my yeah, debut. Yeah. yeah. So I remember it was Easter period and um, yeah, yeah. Peter just comes up to me after the first Easter game. We only played a couple of days later. Um, How do you fancy playing? He literally went, how do you fancy playing? I'm like, yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah, I can do. Obviously not been playing. Yeah. For I remember, I remember your debut. I was there at Wakefield. Yeah, yeah so. it was quite an enjoyable day. Yeah. 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 I think that's... A lot of people are saying negative stuff about the Easter period, but the one thing I always say is like it gives kids a yeah, chance. Yeah, exactly. I, think I probably want to be yeah. I probably want to be my debut for one for that Easter period. Yeah, exactly. So. I mean, then that's when it kind of, that's that twenty thirteen season. You kind of was your breakthrough season. Yeah, I I mean, made my debut and then I think Shannon got injured in the yeah like, semi final or cup if I remember. You played in the cup final, didn't you? Yeah, so I managed to get back in the team and obviously played at Wembley after just about six games. Uh, how did it feel? I mean, nearly scoring. <laughs> that try, I mean... Haunts me forever, that. I know. I mean, I suppose you've made up for it, haven't you? But yeah. That, that, yeah, that, honestly, yeah, I remember you nearly scoring. I mean, you got, you got past him in the end, didn't you, in 2016 against yeah. the DW. I remember that. I was like, I hope you get this because, I mean, yeah, that, honestly, that, it I think, yeah. It pains me when I think back on how, how, yeah. how much of a good try it could have been. Yeah. Exactly, um, yeah. I remember he's running. Instead of running, if I think I'd have ran to the post, he yeah. scored, but I got tackled in the corner, didn't I? Yeah, you kind of ran, you went, you went to the corner, didn't you? I think you? The opposite way to the corner, I got caught, and I was got that kind of few, spinning to a few of the boys, like years later, and they said that kind of was, could have been like a changing moment in the game to get us a bit yeah, of a yeah. That was a bad game. You got, we got beat 16 0, didn't we? Yeah, and it was, it was, a, it was awful. It wasn't the best of cup panels, was it? No. Who okay. yeah, was. I hate that day. Yeah, yeah. I remember because I was growing up and watching cup panels. It's mm. always warm, sunny. Yeah, 16, um, yeah. 17, it was warm. But that day, I remember waking up in the hotel and it was absolutely chucking it down. Yeah, uh, I, I went I went down on coach room and I sat off at like four in the morning. Yeah. And I think just you just knew when it was raining, I was just like, yeah, I was probably not yeah. gonna win. I, I, I don't, it just there's always a negative thing with all and rain. It just it just don't end well. Yeah, we and, definitely as a fan, I mean, yeah. We definitely needed the sunshine on that day. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was a tough one. Yeah. One of the best of finals, but... Horrible to take as well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember... Probably going, yeah. Pat Richards used to play for him. I remember his kick-offs that he used to do. Oh, mm. yeah. 
it was like spiraling bombs. Yeah. I remember thinking, I want to play six games again. So <laughs> <laughs> under the post, thinking, it's a hard sort of belt it to me here, yeah, because it always ends up going in the middle of the field. And then we boats it, and I'm thinking, I've got to just catch this in his sweet. Luckily, it went straight on the full. <laughs> so the game couldn't start any better for us. Yeah, yeah. They got on the full, but yeah, it's not one of my best memories, I think. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I've got to hear about Lee Radford's influence uh, on your career and how he made you the player you are, obviously. So, speak about Radders, really. I mean. Yeah, Radders, me and him, I was obviously in the 20s. I came in from playing amateur at Skeller yeah. mm. and I had a lot to learn. Um, I remember him saying some stuff to me in, in training, I'm just thinking, like, what's he on about? Yeah, yeah. He was always on about my numbers, like organising my numbers at the back. Yeah, yeah. So, I never used to do it amateur. Yeah. Right. He just kept saying to me, like, sorry, your numbers on it. I'll just be like, yeah, yeah, what you're watching, what's he on the ball? But no, me and Radders always got along and we're still good mates now. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, it was massive for me in that 20s year. Um, I remember, so I got the job in 14, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he was he was massive for me, obviously. He was he was tough on me at times. And yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong, in his first couple of years, I think he's already admitted it that he was, um, not, maybe not brutal, but... We just getting to learn the job. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think you could tell though, because like the first two seasons we had with him weren't particularly great. I mean, just yeah. yeah I think, but I think once you, once they got going, I think once you got the signs, and I think yeah, I think that's the thing you want to see, was it? Yeah, and that's what I mean. I mean, I think you've seen that with you know, obviously you, you've got to get your own team in. in yeah, the, definitely. Yeah, players that probably you didn't want and yeah, exactly. probably had to wait for their contracts run out or yeah. get rid of them. Yeah. I feel like when he did and he got his own team and he recruited real well. Yeah, because definitely. Yeah, some of the players that I brought in, yeah. that was like, no, but if you look at tools, it was empty bins. Yeah, yeah. He came from Best player, that. probably, best winger we've ever yeah. had, I mean, in many years, obviously, yeah. yeah. Looking he's up there, like, obviously, when Gaz Rayner played. And D- yeah, yeah. I, yeah, definitely. For I me like. to play at the back of tools, yeah. easy way, because he's so strong and so good at getting out of yeah. the yardage. I'd just give him the ball, he'd run and skip yeah, about eight yeah. players, and I'd get a quick play of the ball for yeah. back. Yeah. Me, yeah. yeah uh, I think we've got to move on to twenty sixteen team. So yeah. I mean, how did obviously players like Mahef and who were in front pitch hard like lighting up that team? Obviously, it was such a good feel good team. I mean, how how was it playing with them? Obviously, unreal. I remember the fifteen season, so the year before I couldn't even get in the team, and I was thinking got them in for a long year. Yeah, yeah. the next year not playing. I remember like. So it's was my first year on it. So yeah, it's yeah. Here. I remember watching him against Rovers in that good uh, that derby in pre season, and I was like, "Who's this?" Yeah. Oh, I was, uh, yeah, honestly, I mean, amazed me. Yeah, my hair was just so good for the club. Um, like when he came, he wasn't really too known, was he? No, no, no. And two years he had he was he was like unbelievable. Um, yeah. He was like a powerhouse when I remember him when he carried yeah. the ball. Just, oh, you know, he was, he was unbelievable. Was, yeah. It's like I said, I told him one wing. My head, my head yeah. Over. Yeah. Unbelievable. I'll just let them do all the yeah. stuff and I'll just get off the back of it. But yeah. that's another one, Frank. Frank probably didn't play his best rugby here, but just like the buzz on that he brought yeah, to th- Yeah, the club. exactly. And those boys, he's going to be his first day training, all the boys are buzzing to see him. And that, yeah. He was massive in the NRL. And don't get me wrong, he won't terribly, but he probably didn't play his, he's, Yeah, I mean, he in probably game, passed so his best. Yeah, but, but it just was that kind of physical factor he brought to the club. And, and just him as a, like a blow. Yeah, yeah. For someone to come in, sometimes like you get the big stars that come in and they're yeah. a bit arrogant, and he was just so good. I mean, because he, he sat with the fans, you know that Wigan game was spoke yeah. about. He sat with the fans because my dad went and he, he was he was near him, and obviously yeah, it was like he kind of just like you knew he, he he actually cared about the fans. He he obviously wanted to play for the club. I mean, I was good when he left, but I think obviously it was it was his decision, wasn't it? And I yeah. suppose I mean can't go against what he's not. What he, nah, he was he was massive, especially off the field and. No, he won't bother who he was. Yeah. He was a young lad coming through all. Yeah, exactly. A senior pro, he'd treat you all the same. Yeah. Just a great bloke. Was some other good signings that year, though? Uh, it was, S- two of them, yeah. Who um, was sick of that year? Yeah, so you could sign that year. Taylor, Scott Taylor yeah. signed that year. Tack um, Kim and who else? Who else? Uh, cause it, yeah, because two of them, they played six. I was that year. that, yeah. Because so Liam Price kind of just, obviously, I think it was like the end of his career. Right? Yeah, so, obviously, won't work out with Leon at the half, and I remember when he moved. Carlos into the ass. Carlos, yeah. not that I didn't want to play half, but he said, oh, he didn't like that, um, you know, like the leadership yeah, and yeah. organising the Obviously. team. So I just kind of said to him, you know, let, who was he? Sneedy. Yeah. Just let Sneedy do it all and you can yeah. come off the back of it. So we actually 
was a big success that year with yeah. the centre playing. And I think it started at Magic because uh, we were at the top of the league after being Rovers, but it started because Leon Price got injured during that game. And I remember two of Ave saw him at six. I think that's when it started. Kind of yeah. when two of Ave regularly put started playing at six. Yeah, I remember because Carlos was playing so good, but he didn't want to. He'd rather play. Yeah, 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 He was yeah. playing so good in the half and was winning and playing well. So Sam Walsh was that year as well. Yeah, Walsh, you know, yeah, like, Sam back obviously. Yeah. Played nearly every game. Yeah. He, everyone just had their own part to play. Yeah. You know, everyone did the job mm. well, and it just kind of clicked. Um. Also, that's when, I'm just going to try and think about the 2016 team. I mean, you had Liam Watts as well. Yeah, oh, Watts, he was playing unbelievable. Um, yeah, Ellis was, Gareth Ellis was Gareth, kind of in yeah. like the best. Even had like Stephen Michaels. Who yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Probably yeah. wasn't a starter, but was always managed yeah. to be in the team. Scored yeah. that try against Rose, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah to, from 20 to down. It. How did that feel, by the way, you know, when you were 20 old down? And like, what did Bradders say after? How did like kind of get you? I can't remember, I'm shot. For some reason, I've got in my head that he had a massive blow up at us. Mm. Yeah, because which you need sometimes because we was terrible at first half. It must have felt bad though, like going in. Oh, like, like, me being an all up myself and sporting all. Yeah, yeah you know, we, like David is a big. You weren't getting beat by. Do you actually horrible. have any hatred towards Rovers? Like obviously. Uh, nah, I don't, not not hatred. Like yeah. obviously I used to be a fan and I probably did, but not yeah. now playing for the club and I'm not a fan anymore. Yeah. There's yeah. no hatred, but it's one of them where you wanna. Still got. Do you wanna be? Yeah, 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 that's what. Yeah, especially being from well, even like the lads are half from all. Yeah, it's just a full vibe of the full week. Yeah. That that week, you, that you, your mission is to beat brothers. You, nothing else. You know so as soon as Monday comes and it's that, yeah. yeah, it's all anyone ever talks yeah. about in the city. It's magic. I mean, uh, can we talk about the witness game where obviously yeah, yeah, course, Radis yeah. got kicked out of the dressing yeah. room? What was that like? Because what what did you all say together as a group? Yeah, it was a weird one that we got beat, didn't we? You got but, bad. Yeah, no one ever. We didn't ever kick Radis out of the change room. It was more like. A, was that bad as players? Mm. Right. We all just sat. We all just sat there and was just like, we need, we need to talk as players, yeah, just yeah. just as players. So we just asked the staff and the coach to leave, just so right, we could yeah. have a few home troops with each other. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And um, there was some stuff said that probably people needed to hear. Um, mm. yeah. People were honest and um, got into a few people, but it seemed to work. Definitely. You whatever, yeah. whatever, like you know, it's Rad's fault. Kick him out. It was more. Us, yeah, us as yeah. players need to take accountability for it and mm-hmm. have a chat face to face with each other without the coach you've been there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, you need to do that sometimes as well, don't yeah. you, just to get everything. Yeah, definitely, because some players won't say stuff in front of the coach, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even, if it's, even if it's not like being harsh, sometimes yeah. just won't say it. Yeah. So if the, if the coach isn't out there, the pressure's off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, go on, move on to that 2016 Cup final. I mean, Oh, I think we should move on to cup running in general because I think started off at Saints, didn't it? And uh, I mean, I remember going. That was an unreal day. I think that Saints game it started off with. How, how was that? Obviously, when when did you start to realise that it could happen? I don't think we ever did. Did it just mm. obviously. I always remember. I said to like Mint and Tag them that sixteen seventeen scene. It's like kind of a blare. One was just because we was winning. Mm. Yeah, you just and was playing well. It was constantly in that. I don't know, like mode. Yeah. Yeah. Train, yeah. train, and you play, and we're winning, so everyone's happy. Yeah. The buzz was around the players was unreal, but yeah. as you said about the cup, man, I don't, I don't, well, me personally, I never thought oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I think we should just go straight to the point of you scoring that try. Yeah. How, how did that feel? Oh, I'm mad. Um, it's kind of a bit of a blur for me. Yeah. I had to like, kind of watch it back after the game to, mm. you know, realize how big it was and. Yeah, it was a special moment, and um, for it to turn out to be like the winning try. Obviously, there was the Danny out and yeah, yeah. tackle, which obviously you know. needed to happen, but yeah. to be the actual try that yeah. was it's pretty winning, special. Yeah. And people always say to me, like, you'll never be forgot for like that try. No, I, I don't think you'll be forgotten. As well as like, no. as well as, like Danny won't be forgotten no. for the tackle. No, definitely not. Yeah, it was a special moment. Um, I just remember just thinking, I was. Someone might pop up here, and if I'm just somewhere on the ball, I might just go. Mm. Yeah. Luckily enough, just need to get the ball. Just yeah, that, that, the I thought he was going to kick it. Uh, I, I, watching it back, I he looks like he wants to kick it, doesn't he? But then he obviously, luckily, he passes it. But I, I, as a fan, I think watching that, I just, I mean, it's me there crying yeah, after class. the win. Well, that's funny, isn't it? Because they're more a bloke, they're grown blokes. And yeah, like, like, and, like obviously, my dad's there, we're both in tears. Yeah. I mean, it was honestly, I, uh, yeah, I just think I've got my. 
both cup final shirts, so um, my kitchen down there, um, yeah. it's got like a medal and got a couple of photos in it, and one's me scoring, and like, I just like it because... You can see, can you see the fans? You can see the fans, and yeah, that's yeah. what I like about it. There's like, a real good camera angle uh, if you watch the full game where it shows you going down and Ashton seems he's got his head in his hands, yeah. and then there's all the fans celebrating. I think there's even Wigan fans in the background yeah, celebrating. Yeah. But yeah, I just think that that moment probably will be the best moment ever as an all fan. I think I've ever witnessed. Obviously, I'm two cup wins anyway, but definitely that Danny Allen tackle in your try, yeah. I think, honestly was, yeah, I think yeah, it's just good to have like. Well, some people remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we was too young to remember. Well, you weren't even allowed for the 2005 one. No, so, 2005. No. It's like, yeah, yeah, I, I went to that game. Up. Yeah. Is yeah. it the song they played after the game? I can't remember. Was it rock and roll? Yeah, I think it was that because I think, yeah. Is I, it that one? Cause my dad will probably. Whenever it comes on, I, I think that game straight away. Yeah, right? yeah, I wasn't even born. I was. Mm. I was just, 2006 kid, mate, so. Yeah, yeah, it's just like the old. That was at Cardiff, wasn't it? Yeah, mm. yeah. So, like, the old thingy with the. Never went at Wembley and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That was another good thing to you know get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be a part of the first team to win at Wembley. Yeah, I mean, definitely better as well because Rose got battered you know, <laughs> yeah. the, last, the year before, wasn't it? So it was like. Oh, was that was there the year? Yeah, the year before, before they got oh, was uh, beat fifty nine. I mean, oh, they got it was rele- fifteen, wasn't it? Fifty. Yeah, yeah, they got yeah. they got relegated the same year. We, we oh, won the it? cup as well. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it was quite like it was quite funny because that same year they got relegated, and obviously we had probably the best season we've ever had. Yeah. Um. Think speaking more about twenty sixteen team, how good was it losing to Wigan in that semi final? Obviously, and then also losing out on the league, league leader shield. Um, yeah, because we was up there for like top of the table for so long. Yeah, we? I think. And we played Warrington, was it? Yeah, because Warrington, if Warrington beat Wigan, they'd have won the league leader shield, but they got beat by Wigan. Yeah, so we played them. We played them at um, AKC. Yeah, so. I remember we we was terrible that day. Can't yeah. remember what score line was, but we was terrible. I think it was something like twenty three six. I think I that's think. one of them where like they're used to. Because they've been so successful over the years, they're kind of used to them. I don't know, pre- high pressure games, but yeah. you say that, and we obviously won the cup that year, but a couple of them leagues completely different. Mm. We had some really good results against Warrington. I think we beat, we, we ended the run of uh, like so many games winning on Easter Monday. We beat them at their ground. I think you made that blunder, didn't you? Where I think yeah. Sandow kicked it, yeah, and I, I think you, you, you picked it up, but I think you knocked on when he tackled you or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it was raining, I picked the ball up and he tackled me, and it like, Bobby yeah, yeah, I remember that. But, mm. Yeah, it's one of them where I probably one out of hundred that's probably happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It ended up happening in a big game. <laughs> we won, so it was alright. Mm. Yeah, she needed got dropped goal, didn't he? Yeah. Well, that just kind of felt that we won by seven points because Ellis scored right at the end and then just needed got dropped goal. Yeah. Uh, to you got a good memory, you. I was involved in the game. <laughs> and I can't remember. I honestly, I remember everything from all games. Like uh, my baby sister was born the day we beat Toulouse uh, uh, last yeah. year. I don't know why that's it's just so random. I remember things from yeah. Um I got yeah, it's weird. I'm obsessed with this, of course. That's all he talks about every day. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean I'm on my own fan page, so I think I've got to be obsessed to be fair, but yeah. Well obviously we had that amazing twenty sixteen team, but you got into the dream team, didn't you? How did it feel to like actually be in the dream team? Yeah, that's another thing that like from that year was just in like game mode and everything was going so well. I just mm-hmm. Looking back now, I wish I enjoyed it more. And yeah. yeah. Being a bit more, not proud. Like, when I look back now, I think God, I was the best fullback in the league that season. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's, a bigger, there's yeah. some good fullbacks there yeah. in that season as well. Mm-hmm. But at the time, I was just like, oh, yeah, sound like I'll do the fours. And it's just, <laughs> yeah. instead of like, yeah. probably embracing it and yeah. enjoying it. But yeah. I've got it um, framed in my bar at home. And, you know, it's something proud. Yeah. It's something I'm very proud of. And, like I said, because for being the best in your position that full season, it's yeah, special. Yeah. Mm. We had quite we had five players, on not we? Yeah, Minicello. We signed Minicello. We signed Minicello 2015, didn't we? Yeah. I suppose you can count it as a signing. Yeah, um, if you're that, I've missed them all. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think who, who was in that team, so it was you. Min. Ty. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, Mini. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Um, I'm, I'm not. How did it feel winning it again in 2017? Uh, I remember, obviously, when you f- played the first couple of rounds. Scott, you scored an actually the first game in the cup against Carlin, I'm pretty sure. So you was that 17? How do you even know that? <laughs> because I, uh, I obviously went, so... You even had it like that. Because I remember there's a, you scored, it's like, it was raining, so you scored on the sticks and it was quite a good try, but I just... So I'm, I just... 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 I
Yeah, like the first couple of rounds, like you just want to win, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's not until the semi where you think, oh, we could actually win until Charles goes back to back. Yeah, mm, I mean, like, not many teams do it. Yeah. Um, but I would say my, my, my favourite, not favourite game, but my most enjoyable to win was that, 17 beating Wigan in the was it because obviously what happened obviously four years previous or was it just no it wasn't that it was just I feel like it was a real intense game and yeah it probably could have swung both ways mm. um, I just felt like it was a tough game and no one did anything no one did anything like stupid no not stupid like mad like yeah. no, there was no silky skills it was more like a the process of the game plan and just getting through the ground and then the, when that whistle went at the end yeah. Just for some reason, that's, that game sticks in my head. So. Ah, I mean, I'm trying to... Yeah, because uh, Joe Bear just nearly scored at the end, but yeah. uh, it was obviously a forward pass, which, I mean, your heart just goes, doesn't it? it that was, was a grand final, final, though. That was a final one, though. Trans Cup final? Yeah, I mean... This, semi? Was, uh, was it semi? Oh, no, semi-16. Semi-16, semi 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 I mean, sorry. Right, uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, sorry, that, I've got the wrong ones. Yeah, semi-16 is the game I always remember as like, being my favourite game to win. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, think I've got I've got seasons wrong. Yeah, because that was the first. That because then after that game, thinking, oh, okay, like we're going to Wembley, we'll get, we'll get to yeah, play, yeah, play yeah, Wembley. Yeah, that was that was a big game for us. I mean, yeah, because Tarnow scored uh, from a sneak kick yeah. like, right at the end. Man, Freddie drops it, and Tarnow yeah. obviously. Yeah. Not just one My memory's not as good as yours. I've got the seasons it's wrong. It's stupid, isn't it? You were yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not the, not the final. The semi finals. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, talk about it, that final. Against Wigan, did it feel a bit bittersweet? Obviously beating him yeah. after what happened four years ago. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. You just said it then though about that bit at the end. Drew a bear just nearly oh. scoring. I generally thought it scored. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Think it. I remember, really I remember like putting. I think I put my head in my hands off somewhere, yeah. and I kind of like turned around and the ref was a full pass, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Then I seen the ref and I was like, get in. Man. But obviously, his old fans like we were so far back, you couldn't really see. Yeah. So he was like, Fuck. and then it's obviously like, yeah, just. But then it's more like, what did you think when obviously how we made that tackle? Like, did you think they're gonna score or did you obviously? Oh, yeah, it's, that's just a marvel, isn't it? Like, he's a machine and that he was unreal. I, that... I remember thinking after like maybe should have I been there, do you know, to stop it? And that's just mint and his like mentality. You put the ball up when you're not on yeah. so I suppose he was there. Yeah, I was near, but I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. That's just Danny and his mentality, like he got the same through. I I, I, I can't even understand how it even came out. Like, it's uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Like that's the, every time you watch it, you're just like. Like he's scoring that nine times out of ten. Exactly, it's like it's unbelievable. I think, yeah. Yeah, um, I remember thinking, good lad, mint. Yeah, where you'll be for that one. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> uh, I mean. I think we we'll move on to twenty twenty that season. I mean, started well, just kind of. What was it like when Radford got sacked? Obviously, that game against Warrington. Like, what? How did that obviously feel? Yeah, it was. It was horrible to be fair. Um, obviously, because how close me and Rad were. Yeah. yeah. What it done for the club. Um, it was tough, but I think Rad has probably admit. Um, maybe. That this that this time was you know over yeah, the club yeah, and yeah. maybe it was a fresh time for a fresh start. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, but I was going on saying to him after the game, you know, like just apologising to him, like saying sorry, and yeah, yeah. you kind of feel like it's your fault that coach has got sacked. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, I, I do think sometimes, obviously, it was the right time, but sometimes coaches do get sacked unfairly and yeah, stuff like that. But definitely. that's just sports, isn't it? Yeah, that's that sport altogether, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But what it did for the club was unreal. It was yeah. incredible. Yeah. I mean, I think twenty twenty was I mean a, quite a bad year for you. Obviously, the injury, yeah, yeah. the uh, obviously in October against Castleford. Uh, how did it? Like obviously, I think you've you've said before on a, a video that you didn't even realize. I think something like that. I, I don't know. I'd probably get on the boys with stuff. How did it feel? Like obviously, like when did you realize that you might have done something really bad? Yeah, cause I've not had many injuries in my career, yeah. especially not ones like that. I remember I, I think I picked a kick up or something like kind of stepped and I just heard a pop in my knee. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. So I go down and scr- I think I like scream a bit. Yeah. Um, and I just thought, the physio came on, the pain went. So yeah. I thought, right, I'm sweet. Like, so I'll carry on. So I ran a bit, but like, my knee kept like hyperextending, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I called him back on and said, oh, can you just strap my knee up? Because it keeps hyperextending. 
Yeah. Um, as soon as I said that, he was like, nah, mate, you're going off. So then that's when he took me off. Yeah. I, he knew that I'd done something serious, but he never told me. Yeah. <coughs> he just said, I sit up and I, um, we'll, go, we'll take you for a scan. So up yeah. until having the scan and after, I didn't know I'd done it. He knew, he said to me, he knew I'd done my ACL. Did you just look at the door? Yeah. But just in case he was wrong, he didn't want to scare right, me. Right, right, okay. Yeah. yeah, getting that news, he uh, won. One of the best news I've had. Um, yeah. What was it like coming back from the injury? Like obviously, when you came back on, like the fans singing your name and stuff like that. What was that like? Yeah, it was special that. Yeah. I didn't think that's the reception I'd get. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was special that, and especially, it was the Rovers game as well, wasn't it? You picked. Yeah. Um, I can't remember who it was. Ma- Ma- I think it was Maher, yeah, I think so. You picked him up, didn't you? Yeah. And you I thought he was going to give a penalty for that. Yeah, did you actually? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, previously to that, I was off, because I came on at nine, never played hooker before. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it was a bit so, weird, yeah. Yeah, so I came on at nine, and I was offside in like the first involvement. So I was like, Oh, I think I, think I remember. Yeah, I was so like, oh, that's great. First involvement, yeah. and I'm offside. <laughs> and then I thought, then that happened just after. I thought, if it gives a penalty here, that's two involvements I've had. <laughs> two penalties. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were getting the shepherd's hook off. <laughs> no, but it was special. Yeah, hearing the fans singing him. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was nice. I mean, how how was the rehab, obviously? like <sighs> so, so tough. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it ju- obviously, sadly lost your place to Jake Connor. I mean, yeah. that must have been, obviously, a bit devastating. Because obviously, lost the number one jersey to, to him. Yeah, it I was. Mean, I think that was kind of why it was so hard. I, I love Jake to bits, me and Jake get on. Yeah, yeah. But sitting there in the sidelines with your knee and a brace and nice, watching it? someone else play well in your position, yeah, it's yeah. not nice. Even though I was happy for him yeah, playing yeah. well, it's still like, uh, a bit of pill to swallow. But you just can't, kind of got to get that to the back of your mind. It's not the physical side that... Yeah. It's not the physical side that's testing, it's the mental side, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like going into training and I've not been injured. I've never really had a long term injury. Yeah, yeah. And going into training and the lads going off to do their own bit. Yeah. You know, go yeah. on the field and you're stuck inside the gym with a physio. Yeah, yeah it's not. It's not. It's not getting right. absolutely flogged on a watt bike. Yeah. Yeah, it's not nice. You kind of kind of find yourself floating out the team and yeah. not being involved in stuff. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Um. So, can we talk about the rumours about like obviously moving away or should we? Are we obviously I don't know. Uh which rooms? There was obviously to lose, I don't know if you know about it. Yeah. But, and then obviously with Castleford and Wakefield, I mean obviously if you joined uh on loan. But uh Castleford I think I thought might happen because of Radders. I thought maybe obviously your relationship with him and obviously now you said that, I mean I'm, obviously yeah, but how Yeah, but, so the the Toulouse one, I was out of the team at the time, what kind of money it was when they came in. So they approached the club to see if I could I think it was up. like I think it was the beginning of the season, um, because I think Connor came back in the first game against Wakefield. Where I thought you might play because obviously he was injured, but he could, that guy comes back from injuries really quickly. Yeah, it's just, mad, it's yeah. mad. Um, and then obviously he got suspended, didn't he? Because he got recorded, and yeah. then obviously he played against St Helens. So I think he was he was he was the start of the season when they came in. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Actually, because they came in, but then Jake got injured. Yeah. So mm. then all caught like needed me yeah but yeah they did come in and me and my partner and my kids were willing to go if like the money matched and yeah, yeah. if I if I was in the plan to you know start as well but yeah, yeah. Uh, it never never really yeah, got anywhere yeah. the deal never got anywhere and Fair it was enough. so much under the carpet and last year with the cast wakey thing uh, the the cast one was there was nothing about it. Was it not? No. Oh, Radder spoke to me and said, Oh, just got another injury, but nothing really materialised from that. It was more the wake deal. Yeah. How did, how did you find that work through? I mean, obviously, you had Bowden with you. you know, I think you could make it to that, yeah. So, yeah, how was that? I loved it. Obviously, I knew what I was going into. I knew that I was going into a team that were fighting relegation. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Wasn't playing well, but I was, I wasn't playing at all. and... I was in a bit of bad head space and I just wanted yeah. to play you know, I just wanted to play rugby. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the chance to go out on loan was massive for me. Yeah. Um yes yeah, so I got there, I loved it and it was just trying to get a bit more enjoyment into my game. And, yeah. yeah. You know, putting I mean, a smile back on my face. It definitely looks like you enjoyed yourself. I mean I did because I was playing, obviously I wasn't playing yeah, at all yeah, 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 for certain good. reasons and you do get down because the whole point play. the whole point in training every week is yeah. Yeah. to play on the, on a weekend and I won't get in that at all and when Willie rang me to go there, it was I said yes straight away, and 
Mm. Even though it probably wasn't the best situation to go in with on fighting relegation, but we ended up winning some games as well. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah, to be fair, you came close to St. Owens in your first game. Yo, uh, that first game, I'd only done my... So when I got there, it was team run, so it was also like the day yeah, yeah. Rocked up the training thinking, oh, obviously, not trained yet, so yeah. he won't pick me. Someone's got in, he's like, yeah, he's starting four back tomorrow, and I was like, I'm not training with the team before. <laughs> I'm playing the best team in the league here. <laughs> I'm not training with the team, don't know any of the calls and that. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we're pushing real close, the lads had a massive dig and... Just copying and called a point. We should have won, yeah. yeah. I mean, that Johnny Walmart's drop over the controversial, I thought it was funny on it, it was... Wellsby, I think. Was it Wellsby? I, I think, think yeah, so, I think yeah. he might have been. No, yeah, because I think Johnny went to catch it. He went to catch it, dropped it, yeah, Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it went back and he yeah. slotted it, and I just remember thinking. Yeah. Well, I'll come in. Uh, we'll ask about pre season, is that right? Yeah. yeah uh, so, how have we found it under Tony Smith, obviously, at the minute? Two, yeah. Two days in, obviously, but how have we found it? Yeah, good. It's just nice to be back. We have like eight weeks off in off season. Yeah. And, mm. The first couple of weeks is real good, get to relax, and then yeah. you start to run your thumbs thinking you've got no, no, rot- no routine in your life. Yeah. So, yeah, it's nice to get back. Nice to see all the boys again and be in that environment, um, grinding it out and getting flogged every day. Yeah. But no, it's been enjoyable. The um, Brecken is in lightly this week, <laughs> yeah. and then um, I think the, the real business starts next week. Yeah, yeah. I mean, are, you to, are you excited to meet the new boys? Yeah, um, none of them are here. Oh no, Chewie's in. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, Truman's in, but obviously he's doing all his rehab and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, I don't know, I think the leads have to come. They're in the bye at the minute, so they'll be coming. Yeah, I think they'll come the next soon. couple of weeks. Um, um, yeah. And then when they also allowed to get the visas and stuff, they can get straight down. Yeah, but it's exciting times. Yeah. Obviously, put them towards us that are coming in, they look, they look good and sharp, and yeah. we're good to see how they get on. Mm-hmm. Um, is there a, where do you think you will fit into this team? I mean, I don't know. Anywhere. Um, just gonna try and knuckle down, head down, yeah. train as hard as I can, and kind of got him made that maybe not a starting player, starting the season if you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah. So it's whenever I start round one for some reason, I'll be ready. Yeah. But if I don't, and if it's round twelve, <laughs> he, he calls upon me. I yeah, want, I yeah. want to be fit and yeah. fit, ready to go, and um, give my best account to count myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So wherever yeah. I can fit in, I'll be yeah. hopefully playing. Yeah. Well, yeah. I played now before, so yeah. <laughs> I'll play anywhere. I saw your training, George. You looked like you was playing from dummy half. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I just, yeah. It's a tough one, mate. Obviously, I cemented that spot for so, quite so a, many years. Quite yeah, a years yeah, and no. It was a tough pill to swallow, you know. Yeah. Not being first choice, it's, yeah. it's tough, but I kind of got it through my head now. It's probably took a while, but yeah. I just want to get down to business, crack on and yeah. mm-hmm. see what happens and I'll, I know I'll be ready when, if I'm called upon. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Any questions? Uh, I'll just try and think something off the top of my head. Oh, should, we ask, should we see if there's... Could do. Uh, how did it feel playing winger? I mean, was that a very weird position to play? Yeah, because I've only ever played fullback. Yeah. The last time I played on the wing and I come for the last time I played on the wing was... 2013 for York. Was it? Yeah, I'd never played on the wing before when I played then as well, but I played absolutely terrible. And I think that's why I couldn't get back in the team at York. Yeah. But I like more in time to come. Yeah. You yeah. got a couple. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. No, you're right. Yeah, like, at that time I, I couldn't get in the team, so when he said, I think I went to I think I went to him and said, I'll, I'll play on the wing if, if you need me, so and then yeah. when he said, you can play on the wing, I thought, yeah, so long as long as I'm playing. That first game we played against Cass was, I think, obviously we got beat, but yeah. we started that game, I think, we just, obviously, Liggy Sal, we'll kind of pass it to Liggy, and then obviously, yeah. it's kind of, started the game poorly, and you kind of just think... Yeah, I didn't have yeah, the best so. of games that night, obviously I've not played there for a while, so I want to decide. Yeah. yeah. Who did we play after? Leeds. Yeah. Was it Leeds? Okay. Yeah, because we, we, we played Cass, the first game I think you played there, because I think Dan Hill was out. Yeah. And then we played Leeds and beat him at Edinburgh. That was a really good game, actually. Connor had an absolute yeah. brilliant oh, game. Oh, yeah, he turned yeah. on that night, didn't he? So, yeah, but then I felt like I had a couple of games on the wing when I went, all right. For yeah, someone that's never played there before. He played yeah, there against Warrington as well, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. well, I think Warrington was probably my best game there. Yeah. But, yeah, it's not my ideal position, but... Like you and Wynn made a good partnership, uh, that Warrington game, to be fair. Who was that? Oh, yeah, Wynn, yeah. 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 
Yeah, so I had a couple of games there, and I was happy with all one. But obviously, then Swaff came back fit. Yeah. He was a first choice winger, so yeah. he got the nod straight away. Pretty sure he's for these. Yeah. So, um, Dave said, "Hey, do you like fishing? Where is the best pond in the area?" <laughs> uh, I only go to one pond. It's called Majestic in Beverly. Yeah. Do you want? Do you want a second time to ask him? Yeah. Um, yeah, but I do love fishing. Yeah. Can I do a fishing podcast? <laughs> <laughs> um, Jack Hinch asked what do you think of Chris Satai and is he a good player to play with yeah Chris good friend of giant <laughs> he looks scary on the field but yeah so down to earth and just a nice block yeah I love playing with him because I know when he's carrying the ball yeah yeah you get you're probably getting a quick play of the ball or an half break or something so he's, unreal, yeah. he's one of them where you just try and sniff around a bit because mm. you know he's going to knock blokes not blocks over him. Yeah, yeah. He's a quick player of all. Um, Miller said, best coach you've ever played under. Uh, There's only been four, I think. Yeah, yeah I, I'd meant it well. I had Pete 13, then, but I didn't play much. So yeah. I'd have to say, Rags, obviously, I ain't played, I ain't played um, under Tony yet. So, yeah, we'll go after Radders. <laughs> um, Jack Logan. I, uh, I think, yeah. Does Kai Armour always <laughs> talk about his dad, the original Armour, at training? Kai, never heard him. No, I'm joking, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, he's with us now from the, um, he's just come up. Is it Kai Armstrong? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Armour. Alfie knows him, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's not, he's not a big dog enough yet to be <laughs> to talk, to talking to us. <laughs> just makes all the lads coffees. Um, before we ask this, how did it feel when Logan came back? And obviously, I'd, oh, you weren't playing them, was he? But how did it feel to have him back in camp? Obviously, yeah, I mean, it was a weird one, wasn't it? Just like I think it was that desperate for players. It was like, but I mean, I, he played really well that game. I, well, me and Logan's the best mates, so yeah. To see, like, obviously, he'd left full time environment and yeah, he'd struggled a bit through his mental side, and you know, it was tough to watch. But to see him come back to the club, and, yeah, you know, have that yeah. smile on his face and. I remember I, I presented his his second debut jersey for the club you know, before the game. Yeah. Uh, so that was a real special moment. For me. Yeah. That, that is up there. And just when I remember he scored that try, I think I was nearly crying. <laughs> yeah. Because we're yeah. uh, we so close and yeah. I know he'd had a, a bit of a rough time. Yeah. So to see him come back and Which play so good. well yeah. and score a try, it's like. He always said to me, he felt like he, he had unfinished business and yeah, I mean, he felt like when he come back, he could finally. Draw a line yeah. in the sand yeah. and yeah. Get, get on with life. Yeah. Right, um, Fred Dealove said, are you looking forward to playing for all again and he can't wait to see you play? Yeah, really looking forward. I'll be honest, I probably thought I'd played my last game at all. So yeah. for me to get wow. back in pre-season and you know, the thought of me getting to pull the shirt back on, it's, it's exciting times and I'm, I'm probably more driven this year than I probably have been. Yeah. When obviously you had the... They obviously moved to Wakefield again, weren't they, this season? So, I mean, that obviously fell through. So, obviously, you kind of glad to was you. I mean, yeah, but I never ever wanted to leave the club. I did. Yeah, yeah. It was a special place in my heart, and it was just kind of. It was like more of like a mutual thing, and me trying to get game time. Chad Logan's so, having a filter. Is he on again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's put, are you looking forward to working with these after your rugby career? <laughs> 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 Yeah. Yeah. We should try and get him on the podcast. That's right. Trying to get him with these, you know, yeah. the gift. Yeah. Um, he thinks it's going to be his <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over that one. <laughs> you can read that one. Actually, I'll do that. Jay Wilkinson, he's a Rovers fan, said, How did it feel that like your team got thrashed by 16 men? <laughs> it's awful, yeah. What game was that? It was the last game of the last season. Last game of the season, yeah. You didn't play, did you? Yeah, and he was at Wakefield, so yeah. Well, yeah. You'd be Come saying that that week, didn't you? So I think, I think you probably had yeah. the. No comment, I didn't. To be fair, I didn't even watch. I couldn't watch the game. I think, was we playing that night? You weren't on Sky. You weren't on Sky or anything. I definitely like didn't see the game. Yeah. So. I remember I had to listen to it on radio because I was, I was in Greece. So we'll, let, we'll let him have that little moment. Yeah. yeah. One more question. <laughs> uh, George Holmes, good mate of man. Uh, I was asked the question I asked earlier. What was going through your head when you scored that winning try, uh, the winning try in the Challenge Cup final in yeah. 2016? Yeah, like I said, it was a bit of a blur, but we touched on it earlier, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. I think he, 
I remember that's probably one of our best moments together. I think, obviously, watching that try, I think, yeah, honestly, unbelievable. I don't think we left Wembley till after, ages after. I think I just wanted to stay there forever. I yeah, mean, it was mad after the game, obviously, when you're doing the... Yeah. Lifting the trophy that yeah. day, seeing all the fans still stood there. Yeah, like, all, just, all the other fans had gone. Yeah, it's just it's just all old fans. It was all black and white. up to the, um, like the balcony thing. Yeah, yeah. It. How did it feel lifting the trophy though? Like, was that like un- unbelievable? I, I mean, Radis was nearly crying. You had to, you had to like go, yeah. Like, it was so much. Like, yes, yeah. Never winning at Wembley. And yeah. Yeah. Mad. Yeah. I mean, times. Like you say, at least yeah, that full team one to seventeen or player will be remembered forever. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think yeah. it is. I mean. Thanks for coming on the podcast. Yeah, thank you very, very much. Um, I loved it. Hopefully, you can get a few more lads on. Yeah, if any recommendations on any players you'd like us to ask, come on, obviously. Yeah. We'll see if we can get them on. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm sure the lads will be yeah. up for coming on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thanks, thanks for watching. <laughs>